everybody, this is Lego Max 10 and today I'm here and I'm going to be doing a video. You might be like, hey, you you kind of messed up your screen size and your Minecraft window. Well, there's a reason for this is because I'm going to be doing a tutorial today, which is going to involve a lot of like other windows open and things. Um, and this is this tutorial is going to be how to edit the Minecraft splash texts. So basically, if you don't know what that is, it's like this thing right here. As you can see, this isn't a default splash text right here. I've custom made, I've edited the, uh, the save file and gotten a different, um, different splash text. So you can have anything displayed. Um, you can, I'm going to also be showing you how to change color in this tutorial. So this does require to have, it's basically downloading a another version of the default resource pack so um i have noticed on some servers um the steve and alex skin is just a little messed up i'm not sure what the reason for that is but i'm just gonna say that it really doesn't bother me if it bothers you then just don't do it um and this also works in 1.9 and for i mean i don't know why it wouldn't work uh i've tried it out in 1.9 and future versions i'm uh, I'll, I hope it will work then too. But so yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. So f first thing first, you're going to need to go and find this link that I've open that uh, I've included in the um, in the description down below. Basically, you're going to download the default resource pack. Um, and obviously, I've already done this. So um, you're going to drag it into your so it should start up in your downloads folder. Um, somewhere in here and then you're gonna move it to your dot minecraft folder which a way to get there is go to options resource packs and then open your resource pack folder now here you are in your resource pack folder you can just either drag it from here and just drag it right into that or you can go back to dot minecraft and just drag it anywhere in here not in any of these folders or you can just drag it right into the resource packs folder um from right here or you know you can copy and paste it if you want to do that too that also works but so i already have it so i'm going to go back into here i'm going to open it up default versus pack right there open it up there's something just happened a little weird message came up uh assets mine uh minecraft and then go to settings texts this also um will work if you are you like wanting to make a uh, like uh texture pack so you can go like um i don't know what you want to do you can go into textures and then you can find blocks and then here's all the um the item textures so birch leaves right there although it is kind of weird and small but that is how you do that and just edit that texture or replace it with another one that you've created um but what i'm going to be showing you is going into texts and then splashes.txt now this is my splash text file. This is all the possible things that can happen with mine. Yours is probably gonna be much longer um, and a lot more painful to read through. Um, I'm just gonna smallify this, that didn't work. Um, I'm just gonna smallificate this window, but I guess it won't cooperate with me. There we go. Um, so I found that the first one on the list is gonna have a weird symbol at the beginning. So I just, like to utilize that and just type in what are those right there and then it will you know do that and then there will be a weird symbol right there uh right where before this that that little less than symbol uh greater than whatever it is um <laughs> i don't know how to read um so and then you can basically just type in anything you want as you will see this symbol is pretty reoccurring uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this. This is how you alter the, like, the formatting info. So, um, say you want to do underlining or colors or something like that. Um, you can go to a website, which I will also include in the description down below. Uh, where you can go look at that. And I'll also include this symbol down below in the description. But, um, so I'm going to open back up my browser. And uh, I'm going to go and just search up Minecraft colors. Like, it's not even that hard minecraft colors and then it will just it's like i use the first one that comes up um 
I think it's fine. Um, so this has all the codes as you can see. So say I'm gonna say something is gonna say splash text. I'll just use this for the for the tutorial here. So I don't know why that is all highlighted, but okay. So what is uh, what color should it be? Let's have it be just trying to get a good angle here. Uh, maybe if I drag this over more, there we go. Uh, let's have it be uh, um, dark red. So that four and then this and then let's have it be bold and I know that is L and then splash and then let's change the color to uh, dark purple and then we'll underline it with at, uh, that symbol and then N and then um, uh, text there we go so now I have to save this I have found that I have to close my minecraft before I can save it which is weird, but you know, save, and then we'll bring up the little thingy that it has to say yes to, and then it will do things. Um, and then I will, can close this, and then you can close everything, um, and go up, open Minecraft again. That was weird. It's taking slower because my recording software, um, it changes it. Just so you guys know, if you notice a lot of lag in my videos, that's actually not how it, my computer usually runs. It's my recording software significantly like reduces the. Uh... Okay, so see here, um, I got this splash text, um, which is entirely accurate. Um, so the way I will go and show you how to. Um, Oh, that weird thing happened again. Um, I'm sorry about that. Every time I open this folder, I guess. Uh, I am going to go into splashes, and then I'm going to open another notepad document. And then I'm going to copy and paste all but that one. Copy. And my other notepad document is there. I'll paste that in there. Um... And just so you know, this is for Windows. Uh, I'm not sure if it will work on Mac or not, uh, or Linux. But so this will be there, but it will have the weird symbol in front. Just trust me, if you have more than one, it will go away. Um, now I'm going to save this, because this, this is the real one, so I'm gonna save it. Uh, I'm gonna say yes, oh, and then it will give me the error message because Minecraft is open. I'll close that. I'll try to save it again with my saving skills, because I have extreme saving skills. Um, open up Minecraft again. I'm actually gonna cut ahead here. All right, and as you can see, it has that weird symbol in front. It's bold and dark red, and then it's underlined and purple. So yeah, I hope you found this tutorial useful if you were looking to make custom splash texts. Um, maybe it's for your resource pack, maybe you're just looking how to make a resource pack. Uh, you can, as I've said before, you can also, I, this is the, uh, creepy one, and I haven't read through this, but it sounds scary. Wait, let's see what color, uh, three is. Three. Aqua. Okay. Just wondering. Uh, so there's a creepy text that I do not know, and then it's changing color. Sometimes I do not care, sometimes I do not wish to tell them. And that is in dark green. Huh. I actually ha I should- I think this is the message that it gives when, um, that's a big number. Um, um, when the credits play, I think it plays after this, after that, but I haven't gone and checked it out, but I do want to read this, but it is formatted really weird. It's like really long. Um. I do want to read that, and it will look fab. Um, but other than that, you can see this works. If you're just, for whatever reason, um, just finding this video, I hope you found it useful. Uh, if you want me to do more, leave a comment down in the description. Down in the, the comment section, you know what I mean. I can talk, just don't judge me. Um, make sure you guys like it, subscribe, share, and favorite it. Peace out. It's weird because I can't do crouching or anything.